Hey guys, back today with another one of Arbiter's tutorials. Um, uh, first of all, I got a request the other day to do a basic tutorial on Expression 2. I don't know anything about Expression 2 as it is. I did have a look at a tutorial on the internet of how to some basic stuff and it seems basically learning syntax so hopefully that should be coming soon but at the moment I'm still learning it and then I can pass my knowledge on. Other than that, today we're going to be learning how to make a seeker bot. Now, a seeker bot is basically a little contraption about this size that uh, follows players around the map. So, first of all, we're going to need something to actually track players and for that we're going to need a beacon sensor like that and target finder. So, a target finder um, a target players, target NPCs, I've set it a target me because I'm the only thing on the map and there I go target acquired and it's found me oh, I'll get rid of that so okay right <coughs> now obviously something that follows the players around the map would have to go left and right but also up and down so I'm gonna put hover balls on the platform here like that <clears throat> and then obviously we need it to go forwards so we're going to put thrusters of maximum thrust on the back I'll put three because that's what my grid but now and then a, a kind of a less power thrust because of how big they are because they're just going left and right on the, the front left and the back right okay and now that's sorted um, you're going to you just unfreeze that and that you see that just floats there you're going to want something, so first of all we're going to do um, forwards and now let's do left and right first, sorry okay now the new gate, arithmetic, called the sign gate and it limits things between negative 1, 0 and 1 depending on which value it's closest to or which value so if, if it's slightly negative it'll be negative 1, if it's slightly positive it'll be positive 1 you get, you get the idea so if we wire this up we have that the thrusters will fire on that and that it will output bearing. Oh, I didn't tell you about the target finder. The target finder is outputting um, distance, bearing and world GPS. So that's three things there, just distance, bearing, world GPS. Okay, sorry, forgot to tell you that. Um, then the target obviously is the target finder. So now if I was to unfreeze this, it should slowly turn to me. It's a bit jostly. It's not the uh, the most precise of things, I'll, I'll admit, but it works. So next, we're going to want the thrusters to be firing, but all, we don't want the thrusters to be firing all, all the time because otherwise, when I'm standing, when when whoever you're tracking is standing still, this thing's going to be flying into them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the thrusters fire when it's a certain distance away, and we're going to use 300 as the constant value. I'll just set that at one. Right, and of course we're going to use a greater than gate. So comparison <coughs> greater than. So we're going to say when the distance that the target is away is greater than 300 for the thrusters to fire. <coughs> Which means if I undo these, you see it's just stationary there. It's just moving towards me. If I move backwards it starts flying at me like that and then when it gets to a certain distance it stops now obviously the smaller you make that value or the bigger it is the further away or the closer the thing will stop when it's flying towards someone <coughs> so um, that's that, that moves forwards and backwards and left and right well it doesn't move backwards it'll only turn and then move backwards so next we want to go up and down say someone's no clipping so we're going to use the hover balls, but obviously we can't you should just use the Z velocity thing. We're going to use set Z target as opposed to before. But we don't want it to be flying into the floor. Like if I'm standing over here, crouching on the floor or something, and that'll just slam into the floor if it's not close enough. <coughs> so we're going to use a value range. And the value range is going to hold, if we look at the GPS there, the Z position of this floor is 80. So what I'm going to do is make the value range between 80 and let's say, I don't know how big the skybox is, uh, uh, let's say 10,000, I don't know. So we're going to make a GPS and we're going to make constant value again. I'm going to keep the old values and we're going to set this between 80 and let, yeah, let's just leave it at 16,000. 
no one ever goes up that high anyway so okay and then we're going to use the gate we used before in the gates tutorial which is in selection the value range and of course the value range just sets maximum and minimum coordinates of a, certain, of a given value so the minimum is 80 and the max is 16,000. I'm just going to change 80 because obviously that would actually be the floor so I'm going to change that to 90 just so it never actually hits the floor. There we go. And then I'm going to wire the value as world Z and then all we need to do is set Z target to this value range. And now hopefully now, also, target finders also always go to the feet. I can, I can change that now, actually. Uh, if I had another constant value, or oh, I'm going to set that as 50. The height from a target fire, from a beacon sensor to someone's head is 60, so this is going to be at around chest height when I fix this, hopefully. So it'll be that plus 50 and then set the Z target to the add gate. Obviously you don't have to do this, this is just for the sake of aesthetics for me. Now hopefully, there we go, that's around, that's around my head height. And you can see if I was to run over here, just slow, it's, it's quite slow turning, you can fiddle with the settings and the thrusters and everything and that should sort everything out. But also if I was to go up now, it's a bit wobbly, but it, it, it does what it's supposed to if I was to go up again. It bounces around a bit, but that's following me. And you can see it's, it just goes to my height. And basically, there's, there's, there's quite a few things you can do with this. You can put a turret on the front or a camera and you can see what's going on. Or you can have another comparison get an explosive. So once it's in range of something, it blows up. I, I, it, the, you can do whatever you like with this really but this is just a little bot to follow someone around so I can I think I might set an explosive so explode uh, just that and I'm gonna have a less than gate and the less since I've already got a comparison gate for when it's greater than a certain distance I'm gonna say that when oh god that when the distance is less than B, which is constant value 300, and I'm not going to wire it up just yet because it's going to blow up in my face. Um, so target finder, target finder, take off target players, and I'll set detonate to that. Oh god. Well, that was eventful again. That that shouldn't be that. The distance isn't less than other oh, because there isn't a distance. Oh, now it's flying in the air. Oh god. Right. If I spawn an NPC, it's all going wrong now. Right there, and now it's just spazzing out of it. There we go. And now it should hopefully fly towards Father Gregory there. Do, do, do. It blew up a bit too soon, but uh, you get the mess. You, you get the idea with that one. Anyway, oh dear, it's gone away again. Right, and that's a seeker bot. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, get get requested for something else if you want it, and I'll see you next time.